as part of a mastermind group that I'm a part of, organized by a guy called Hansen Cheng. This is something that came up on a call yesterday. We were discussing how to actually come up with a way to create lead magnets for your audience. And what I did is take the document that Hansen presented, I made it my own, added some ideas to it, added another step that I feel is very beneficial, and I use this document to create two different scenarios and come up with lead mechanisms for these two different industries. If you follow along and you can put the same prompts into ChatGPT for your specific industry, you will get something that you can work with, you get to brainstorm different ideas, and you're able to move forward with your lead magnet ideas. And this is the first step to getting long-term customers. When you can create lead magnets that the customers actually want, you will show your expertise and your authority, but even more important, you should you understand the pain points that your audience is going through. And that is something that doesn't happen often. So check out the rest of the video and let me know what you think in the comments below. In this video, I'm going to show you my process for coming up with lead magnets. I'm going to cover two different industries, the fitness industry and the freelance writing industry. And I'm going to show you how I use a combination of ChatGPT and YouTube videos to come up with ideas that I know I can test and hopefully they will resonate with my market. The idea here is that I'm not just going out and creating what I think will actually work. It's about creating things that based on the research, I have a high probability that this idea, this lead magnet will actually work. The long-term goal is to get people on a call and then I will be able to offer them my services once they have said yes to this lead magnet. So this is kind of the first step in a whole series of other steps. Let's jump right in and I'll show you the whole process. So this is how it will actually work. The first is to deconstruct successful competitor strategies. Then I will profile my ideal customer. I will brainstorm services or product concepts. I will design effective lead generation assets, optimize them, and then analyze the outcomes and refine the strategy. All right, so the first step is to go to YouTube. Basically anywhere that there is content created by your competitors, you can go, you can get ChatGPT to analyze the data and you will continue from there. So here I'm on YouTube and I just searched for freelance writing and I get a bunch of data. I'm going to filter by popularity. So I'm just going to choose sort by view count. First one is an ad by Grammarly. This is a short. So let's see, earn 500 per page typing work. And I don't want to go for someone like Ali Abdal who has 5.41 million subscribers because the idea is to find people that are a few steps ahead of you, not a hundred steps ahead. So Pakistan make a hundred thousand. Okay, let's open that up. And actually let's open up the profile view. Let's open that up. And let's open Let's open that up. And what I want to do is go to videos, videos, and videos. Three months ago, 15,000 views, seven months, 5.7. Not bad. We can use this as a test. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this plugin, which is called Instant Data Scraper. And what this does is that it will go through and find information about videos. In this case, it will scrape the data on the page. So it will tell me the YouTube URL. It will also give me information about the 
title, it will give me the views, when it was uploaded, and all that. So I just open it through my Chrome browser, I hit start crawling, and this will crawl through the data and give me information. So as you can see, it has collected 18 rows so far, and 34, and it will keep going until it gets to the end. So I have 34 videos from there, 42, so I can stop it. So it has reached the end. I can download this as CSV, and I can do the same for these other guys. Let's see if these make sense for freelance writing. So in this case, I don't think it's very specific. I do this, paying jobs, I can't replace. Bitcoin, it's a bit all over the place. See if there's a playlist maybe. Writing, nope. Okay, let's just use the information we have. So here I am, I opened up a Google Sheet and I'm just going to import the document that I scraped. So I'm going to insert this into the Google Sheet. Okay. And I have a bunch of extra information. So I have the URL there, which I might keep. For now, I can delete this. I have the title, I have the views, when it was uploaded, views per hour, etc., etc., thumbnail, length. So in this case, I'm not interest really interested in all of this data. So you can just remove all that. And what I have is the YouTube URL, the title, and the number of views. Technically for this video, all I need is the title and the number of views. Okay, I'm going to download this as a CSV. And I'm going to go to ChatGPT. I'm going to upload that into ChatGPT. And I'm going to say, step into the role of a seasoned digital marketing strategist and content analysis pro. Examine the most engaging videos on YouTube from the list I attached as a market leader in your niche and then document each one as follows. So I wanted to say video title, insert a video title, video thumbnail, so I, in this case, I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to say success analysis, discuss why the video was popular and suggest areas for improvement. This is for the freelance writing niche. Ensure comprehensive review is completed for each video. Continue beyond the first few. Include all entries from the attach file. So copy that, paste that there, and let's see what the chat will come up with. And saying I've accessed the data from your file, and here's an initial analysis on the top few videos from the list related to freelance writing on YouTube. Video title, free chat GPT, block writing masterclass access analysis, popular because it promises a masterclass appealing to those looking to upskill in blog writing. Using chat GPT, a trending topic, the free tag undoubtedly increases interest as it removes a financial barrier to entry. Areas for improvement, while the video has garnered attention, potentially increasing the technical depth or providing follow-up resources might help retain viewer engagement. Offering certificates or tangible takeaways might also boost shares and revisits. And one idea to consider in this case is that if I wanted, I could also give the transcript of each video and analyze each video in more depth. Just something that I could also do. So it does the same with video two, how to use GPT for content writing, professional content writer, tries out AI writer, etc., etc. 
and it just keeps going with the with its interpretation of why a video is popular and the areas for improvement. So let's see another one. So if I say this is why I sell courses, can they get important insight? It's a personal insight into the business side of freelancing that can resonate well with viewers considering similar bots. Transparency can enhance trust and engagement. Expanding on the logistics of course creation, cross creation marketing strategies and providing success metrics might offer more depth and practical advice. So as you can see, it just keeps going and going. Now, once that is ready, what I will say is analyze these top performing videos from a key competitor. From the perspective of, the, of a digital marketing expert, identify and list at least five distinct ideal customer profiles who would find embarrassed value in these videos. Rank these profiles based on their likely level of interest. So this is where we profile your ideal customer because you want to start getting deeper and more specific about the person who would be interested in this. The more detailed we get about the person, the better the final output will be. So this is where we start that process. So I could keep going, so I can tell ChatGPT keep going, or I can go with this second prompt. So for the sake of this video, let's go with this second prompt. So here it's saying we can derive several ideal kind profiles who would find these videos particularly valuable. Here's a breakdown of these profiles ranked based on their likely level of interest. The first one is aspiring freelance writer. So characteristics is an individual who is looking to start a career in free freelance writing, interested in learning about content creation, payment methods, and finding clients, likely to be younger, possibly recent graduate or career switcher, high engagement with videos on basic skills, client acquisition, and practical advice. Could also be an experienced free freelance writer seeking to upscale a digital marketing professional, a freelance writing educator and trainer, entrepreneur, and small business owner, Awesome. So for each of these, we have three points. Let's say that this is the person we're targeting, the aspiring freelance writer. So step three, which is brainstorm service or product concept. So we're going to say as an expert in market research with a flair for creative copywriting, develop a complete buyer persona for the whatever ICP we chose. Include the following details for this persona, demographics, psychographics, core challenges, values, and motivations. Highlight key emotional triggers and incorporate persuasive language. Name this persona for easy reference. So I'm going to put, copy that, paste it there, and I'm going to choose that for... I'm going to replace that with that. Hit enter. So now ChatGPT is saying, okay, this is the primary persona that we're targeting. It's going to give us the demographics, behavior, psychographics, so again, the aim is to get deeper into knowing who the person is all about. When we have this information, we can then create content that is more suited to this person, lead magnets, offers, and everything that comes after that. So, ChatGPT is going and it's saying demographics, age 24 years old, education, bachelor's degree, location, urban environment, residing in a shared apartment, part-time job at a local bookstore, entry-level income relying partially on gig economy roles. Psychographics, curious, ambitious, self-motivated, and somewhat introverted. Ella is creative and enjoys expressing herself through writing. She has interests in reading contemporary fiction, blogging, okay, core challenges, lack of professional networks, struggling to connect, okay, values, motivations, emotional triggers, and even a persuasive engagement strategy. So here it's saying, invite her into a world where her dreams are not just possible, but within reach. Show her that by embracing the right tools, techniques, and community, she can transform her part-time passion into a full-blown career. Great. So now we're going to go into the challenges. List the top 10 challenges faced by customer name, ranking them from the most critical to the least critical. This will help focus your marketing and product development efforts on areas of highest customer needs. So... Paste that, choose Ella. And again, one thing that I would like to notice is that here I'm asking ChatGPT to rank the challenges from the most critical to the least critical. And having this priority in place is very important. 
First, it will help me to identify which problems that I might want to solve for Ella first. Secondly, it will also put things into perspective. Not all the problems have the same weight. So if I am going to create something for Ella and I'm adjusting or trying to consider which ones have the most potential for the amount of time I will invest, having this sorted list of challenges is very important. So this is the answers. This is the answer ChatGPT gave me. So her challenges. Consistent income generation, the most pressing challenge as financial stability is crucial for her to transition into full-time writing. So I know that she's not having a consistent income. She wants to develop skills to meet professional standards. She wants to build up her she wants to build a professional network. So all of these could be offers, products, these magnets that I could offer this persona. Right? If I'm speaking about consistent income generation, I could create a product to help Ella with having consistent income. Right? I could help her create a pro I could create a product to help her with skill development. I could create a product to help her with building professional network. I could create a product to help her with handling rejection. However, this is according to ChatGPT less crucial than something like consistent income generation. One thing that isn't included here that I came across, so let's add it right here, instruction number five. Imagine you are customer name. This is the end of the day and you're tired of where another day facing or or the above. So I mean, this is your particular need. Worried about the first three challenges listed about. You sit down on your bed and write a 1000 word entry into your diary where you list the problems and challenges you're going through and how these are affecting your person and professional life on various levels. Write this diary and true for me. So I'm not sure where I had come across this, but since I'm running through this kind of checklist and step by step process, this is something that I just thought about. And it's a very powerful exercise to put yourself in the shoes of the other person or of the person that you are creating a product for. So let's make this instruction. Uh, So this will be five, this will be six, and this should be seven. So let's add this here. Write a thousand word diary entry. And this is me trying things on the fly. So let's see what happens. Is this Okay, so for some reason the video just cut out. So what I did is I got the diary entry and it said today was another whirlwind. I was thinking here on my bed, my laptop humming quietly beside me and I can't help but feel drained and restless. The weight of trying to carve out a sustainable path seems heavier, blah, blah, blah. And then she goes into the different challenges that she's facing like income. She feels that it's the one that casts the longest shadow. It's quite like complex language. So I could also ask ChatGPT to come up with using conversational language. So this will write this diary entry using conversational language. So it goes into the problems of skills, the problems of networking. The ripple effect, which I really love because it goes and speaks about the inside challenges. It's not just about the external, it's not just about the money or the lack of networking, but it's also about the life half lived. It's about disappointing people in her family. So these are all points that you could touch on in later stages. Um, then I said propose 10 potential services or products that could effectively address the challenges listed previously for Ella. Order the solutions based on their scalability and specify which pain points 
it each solution addresses. And ChatGPT said subscription subscription based SEO training platform, which addresses the understanding and implementing SEO. So one thing here, I think this is way too advanced for Ella. Whereas this is also a bit too advanced. What I like is, for example, this one, an automated client outreach tool. I could create this product for Ella, which is a software that automates finding and reaching out to potential clients. It also has customizable templates for pitches and follow-ups. It could be something that really helps Ella. So the point is that when it comes up with these challenges, I should also go back and in a way advise ChatGPT about what I like and what I don't based on the input it gave me because that will affect what comes after that. So I could have this, uh, where were we? Freelance job aggregator, a digital portfolio builder, virtual network and event platforms. And as you can see, each of these is a solution to one of the pain points I mentioned before. An online freelancer mentorship program, which addresses skill development and networking. And this could be a mentorship program pairing experienced freelance writers with newcomers like Ella to provide guidance, feedback, and support. So then I said, um, let's see, assume the role. Yep, assume the role of a digital marketing guru to focus on automation and effective lead generation. So this is where I bring things together. And I say design five compelling lean magnets that would appeal to someone like Ella. These lead magnets should be highly valuable, yet cost efficient to produce, ensuring they deliver substantial value to potential clients while allowing for cost effective scalability. Each lead magnet should be crafted to showcase your expertise, offer practical value and save time for the recipient. This is what ChatGPT came up with. There is the ultimate SEO checklist. So Maybe I would adjust this and instead of saying SEO checklist, maybe it would be a checklist for those starting or getting into freelance writing. A template pack, which is about winning proposals and invoices. So it can save time and enhance professionalism while communicating with potential and existing clients. An ebook called the Freelancer's Roadmap to Building a Profitable Writing Business. It can offer in-depth knowledge and practical strategies that can help Ella establish and to grow her freelance writing business. So this could be a great way to get Ella and her contact details. It could also be a great way to start the conversation. I also have a video course, so effective time management for freelancers, a webinar. And as you can see, these are all ideas that I can run with. It's not just about creating lead magnets. I have different products that over time I could also build for this ICP, for this persona. Now, I said dive deeper on this, the template pack when it proposes and invoices for freelancers. And ChatGPT came up with this information. So there is different components, project proposal template, a pitch template, an invoice template, a guide using the templates, the value, production cost, and there's information about how scalable it is, how I could market and promote it. And again, I could keep I could keep going deeper and deeper into each of these. So that is a basically a rundown of how you could come up with lead magnets for your particular target market. To recap, what I did is I started with a niche and industry and then I dive deeper each and every time. So I found out what their problems were. I found out what solutions could be possible. I then asked ChatGPT to come up with ideas that I could use as lead magnets. With these lead magnets, I can get the conversation started with these potential future clients. And I can show my expertise, my knowledge in these areas. Because once I do, these people are more likely to like know and trust my skills and what I do.
So what I would like to do now is do the same thing, but for a different wire. So let's go back to the screen. And this time, I'm going to start a new chat. And I'm going to run through this process a bit faster. I'm going to paste this. And instead of using this tool to scrape data, I'm now going to do it slightly different. So let's see. Less than 24 hours, you will not see. The story that I'm going to be sharing with you today is a story about how videos. So this is not really about gyms, right? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Five reasons you should not open any. Let's see if this is All right, this video. along the lines of what I need. How much does it cost? How to open a gym? How to get, keep, and multiply and multiply personal training or gym clients? Great. So, different ways of doing this. There are Chrome extensions that will allow you to take an infinite shot like an infinite snapshot of all the items on a page. As you can see, there is a lot of videos. And what it would do is just go through this page and keep, like, take the first snapshot, then take the second, and just keep adding to it over and over again until it gets to the end. What I'm about to do and try is just copy all this information and paste it into ChatGPT. It might work, it might not work. Examining the most engaging videos on YouTube from the list below and document each one. So let's see. List. Consider there's a lot of data to analyze. Okay, so video title, how to open a gym and start a successful fitness brand in 2022. The video likely garnered interest due to its practical insights on starting a fitness business, a topic of higher relevance to entrepreneurs in the fitness industry. Its timing may, may have aligned with post-pandemic interest in new business ventures. Very insightful. The video could improve by include case studies or real-life examples to make the advice more tangible. Enhancing video production quality or adding a visual summary of the key points could also boost video engagement and retention. Now, obviously, this is based on assumptions because all I gave to GPT was the text, the, the title of the video, the number of views, and when it was created, and nothing else. Five reasons you should not open a gym, how to open a gym, uh, whatever it is, quad then let the form up, farmers walk. Let's focus on the videos. You based around opening, building, open and contain, gaining, and journey, and shooting, and with new style. So let's just add that. Instruction two. Let's paste that there. And let's see what potential ICPs we could be targeting. So aspiring gym owners, current gym owners, fitness industry consultants, fitness enthusiasts considering business ventures. Let's go with one. Again, I like aspiring gym owners. So, paste that. For. And let's say aspiring gym owners. Now we'll get a list of demographics, psychographics, core challenges, values, and motivations. Along with the emotional triggers for this person. Gym startup Steve. 30 to 45 years old, male, 
Education is bachelor degree, currently in middle management. Is income 60 to 100k, likely married or in a committed relationship. Psychographics, driven, ambitious, risk taker, active lifestyle, interest in health and wellness, working out and attending classes. The next thing would be a list of top 10 challenges faced by Steve. To Steve, right? Yep. Then I'll have the diary entry. And this time it will be in conversational language. So he's, his challenges are securing adequate funding, choosing the right location, building a strong brand identity, marketing and member acquisition, developing a sustainable business, compliance and legalities, hiring qualified staff, implementing effective systems, creating a supportive community environment, Adapting to marketing, to market trends and consumer preferences. So again, for some reason, this just gave out. And basically implementing efficient systems and technology, creating a supportive community, adapting to market trends. Then I said, write me the diary entry. So it speaks about funding, it speaks about location, it speaks about building a strong brand identity, it speaks about the work-life balance and that there is none of that, and it speaks about the glimmer of hope. So this is all materials you can use in your content, in your ads, in your marketing, and if you're on a call with potential Steve. Then I say propose 10 potential services or products that could effectively address the challenges. The first one is an online personal training platform, a crowdfunding campaign, location as a software, brand development consultation. So if you're a consultant, this could be what you lead with. A membership subscription program um, to help Steve get a steady stream of revenue. So if you have tools that can help with this, this could be a great way to get Steve in the door. Social media marketing campaign. There's a lot of ideas right here. And here I get to the lead magnet part. So there's a gym startup checklist, a five-day fitness challenge, the ultimate gym equipment buying guide. These are all products that a person like Steve, who wants to start their own gym or who is at the beginning of their gym journey, would find very useful. Social media marketing blueprint for gyms, profitable gym membership model guide, so on so forth so you could basically adapt this to any kind of niche or market that you're in the idea is that you're starting from a broad range of information and then dialing down to get to the specifics until you can find the lead magnet that best works with your market i hope you found this useful and if you did check out the link in the description i have a checklist that will help you get started on your freelancing journey and it will show you the steps you need to take. In the meantime, hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next video. I'll speak to you soon.